What is up, YouTube? Four Leaf Cards here. Hey, thanks for clicking another day at the National. Wow, another long day. They're so long. Uh, trying to get some video, but I keep forgetting. Um, but I'll have a compilation, a little compilation. I'll probably work on some video stuff tomorrow, maybe. Um, man, just uh, a lot of steps. I, I wasn't wearing my Fitbit, but it's got to be... Uh, 15,000 steps maybe I don't know I tried to sit down a couple times and you gotta keep moving but um I don't have any goals I didn't have any goal I don't know what I'm looking for is the problem and I need to fo have focus but that's okay I keep saying that but I keep having fun so hey whatever um I got uh I got nickel and dime today uh so yesterday was kind of uh got some nice uh old school stuff some pre-war some bigger cards that were kind of in the 20 to 80 dollar range i guess they would say and today i got nickel and dime which i'm happy with i guess and i did get some uh some older type stuff but i wanted to get some different stuff like i want to i want to have a little bit of something from everything to kind of commemorate the uh the national so i was like man i need to get some football or basketball or something or whatever um so I uh, I found this Jan Stenrud, Jan Stenrud, I guess. It's Jan. I keep saying Jan. And I believe this is his second year card, I think. I can't remember. Maybe a third year card or something like that. But he signed my... Um, he signed my picture, and he was just such a nice guy, and I don't have any of his stuff. So I saw this, and I was like, I'm going to pick that up. And it's vintage, and it's football, so it's different. Um, I saw this. I thought this was pretty interesting. It's Danny Ainge college card. So I'm a Celtics guy. So Danny Ainge is kind of, kind of my guy. Um, what does it say? Wally Joyner, a true BYU star. Wait a minute. Wally Joyner. I didn't notice this. I was like, oh, Danny Ainge. That's kind of cool. I'll buy that. Why does it say Wally Joyner? Son of a gun, it's Danny Ainge on the front. And it's Wally Joyner's stats on the back. Those are baseball stats. But Danny Ainge also played baseball. <laughs> I I tried to find this guy, I'm not gonna lie. I looked it up on like uh eBay and I tried to find it and uh it was kind of unclear what this was. So I was like, that's the <laughs> that's the kind of stuff I like to buy. I don't know what I'm buying. Uh it's funky man i'm gonna have to do some more research on that so i don't know if you guys know what that is let me know uh bill belichick uh this card's kind of hard to get it's got some soft corners but uh, you can never have enough bill belichick if you're a patriots fan so i picked that up and i picked this up uh i have a little bit of a fishing collection i have some like 1800s uh fish cards and i, I like this kind of stuff this is uh, Murad. Um, it says College Series, seventy-six to one hundred or something. So it's uh, Carthage College, but it's got a fly fix fishing uh, pictorial on there. And uh, here's the back: Murad cigarettes, the Metropolitan Standard, high how high class here in Chicago. Um, there's all the colleges that they do. So, um, what's that say? Sinardros Corporation. So, kind of an interesting, almost like a placeholder. Like, I would keep this as a standalone, but I think I might uh, check out what these are all about. And maybe if there's a college that I have a connection to or something, I might, uh, I might take a look and maybe uh, do it. It's beat up, but it was... Uh, couple bucks I uh, I think I got a little bit of a deal on those so that's that uh, I did go to the singles club I'm gonna go there again but I'm gonna get nickeled and dined and I probably should not go there but you guys should be happy because I got a stack so these were all dollar cards and literally half of them are not for my PC they are for somebody else's PC Whose PC, I don't know. I know I got a lot of you Tampa Bray guys. I know I got a lot of you uh, Yankees and uh, Bray. I got some Braves guys watching, and I got some Cubby stuff. And so there's 
a little bit of everything because I've been giving away my stuff and I've like run out of some things to give. So I, I went to the dollar boxes. Half of them are uh, are uh, giveaways. Uh, you know, this kind of nice shiny Blake Snell kind of things. But um, I'm not going to show these all uh, to you guys because, like I said, a lot of them are gifts and I want them to be a surprise. But I will pull a little uh, a little subsection out for you. Let me see what we got here. I think I cut them in the, in the middle. Um, I may still give some of these away too. I don't even know what, what it is. But we can, uh, you know, take a look at some shine. I got some basketball. Oh, hey, Dwayne Bacon for the bacon for the food collection. Dikembe Mutombo, the move, the block shot. Uh-uh-uh, not in this house. I thought this was a cool Jim Tomei upper deck. Uh, there's a nice shiny Clyde, Clyde to Glide. Look at that thing with the flames. Couldn't pass it up. Bill Cartwright, numbered in 199. Thought that was cool. Adrian Dantley, I think he signed, so I, I got that for a buck. I'll just send it out, see if he signs. Uh, get a Verdugo rookie. I'm supposed to do that now that he's playing for the Red Sox. But uh, I'm not going to show you guys everything because I want some surprises. We'll do another. We'll do like a recap video. Yeah, some of these are now I'm into the gift area here. The gift area. I took a took a gamble on this one. This uh, Sheldon Noose. He's kind of playing okay, but it was a uh, gold refractor numbered to 50 for a buck. Why not? Um, a lot of these are like kind of like $2 cards, like this license to skill die cut uh, McGuire. Kind of like a $2 card, so you got it for a buck. It's got some nice foil to it. Nice shiny Ricky Henderson. That one kind of popped for me, die cut. I was like, I'll get that. Um, ooh, this might have been one of my good finds right here. I was like, I know that this card is pretty good. These, um, uh, gold leaf stars, they get the hole punch there in the bottom. This is like a four dollar card, so I think I won on that on that one right there. Um, you know how there's some cards where you just see it and you're like, yeah, I'm buying it. I mean, as long as it's not stupid. This is one of them for me. If I see this card, I will always buy it. It's it's uh, Ken Griffey, and like he's so good at hitting, he can hit the ball with the bat without even holding on to the bat. That's always been one of my favorite ones. I love those funny cards. Uh, it's going to be interesting. We should have some of the four-leaf finder fees coming in tonight. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, this is another one. Look at this, Griffey. Remember this? You guys remember this card, man? This as a kid, I was like, man, that's like that's it's beat up. They're they're very condition sensitive, but it's the electric diamond version version. So for a buck, it you know makes me happy. Oh, here's another one. I always buy that card. I got a bubblegum collection, so uh glad to see that one in there. Ah, oh, this is another one. Mo Vaughn Wood. Anyway. We'll do a we'll do a we'll do a summary at some point. So that was that, and then a um, bunch of stuff over there, and then I found the guy that had the autographed cards. They're like in person autograph or TTMs or whatever. But he has like the largest collection of TTM or autograph cards by team, then by player. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna see. Maybe I'll get some for somebody like some some Braves guys or some Tampa Bay guys or some Yankees or whatever. Yeah, I'll buy the Yankees. And uh, then I sat down to the Red Sox and I was like, I'm going to buy I'm going to I'm going to start a new PC where I get try to get a like Dustin and Blake, Dustin's doing a trying to get a autograph of every player that played for the Twins. I'm going to do that for the Red Sox. I'm I'm not going to I need something like long term and so I need to make a big checklist cuz I I was trying to make a checklist of things to get at the National. It's like I don't have any like I yeah, I'll get it all, whatever. So I went through and I basically uh I bought one of every Red Sox that they had. It was like 3 bucks a card, so I spent a lot of money at that place, but I got a nice start to a, uh, a, a collection here and oh by the way I forgot to tell you well you guys might may or may not know that 
the first autograph I ever got in my life was Steve Lyons. And he was playing for Pawtucket Red Sox. I went to the game. I was, I don't even know, like 8 or 9 or 10 or whatever I was. And we weren't trying to get autographs, but uh, it was my friend's dad that took us. And he's like, oh, you should go ask those guys for their autograph. And so we just said, hey, can we have your autograph? And it was Steve Lyons, who was actually nicknamed Psycho. So uh, they had a bunch of Steve Lyons, and he signed them Psycho. And I was like, that's my guy. There's a rated rookie. Didn't have Psycho, but Psycho, Psycho. That one, I got to, Oh, man, I got two. Maybe we'll have a giveaway. Um, anyway, so I, man, those guys had got me had because why did I get two? But anyway, uh, so I got a bunch of Psycho Steve Lyons. I mean, you guys are probably like, this guy's nuts. But, like, that's the guy that, my first autograph. So I'm a big Steve Lyons fan. He was kind of a jerk to be honest. Well, he wasn't a jerk. He's like, yeah, here you go. And it was just like, whatever. He didn't didn't have much other interactions. And uh, I saw those, and I was, like, instantly brought back to that. I was like, that's my guy. So I bought a bunch of those. So I guess I'm heading to be a Steve Lyons uh, super fan or whatever. But um, So that's that. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. Just come back to the room, getting showered up, and uh, going to head out to Pepino and Filmington's uh, party. And that's going to be an, another awesome hangout. So pretty excited for that. And uh, we'll give you guys another recap tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Hey, if you guys are open to anything, best of luck to you. Don't forget to collect to connect. And have an awesome day.